Hi, my name is Karen, and currently I am teaching myself web development with HTML, JavaScript, Making Web Pages Interactive, a course on Khan Academy. And right now I'm working through all of the, well, I have worked through all of the challenges in the program, and now we're on the last challenge. There are a couple, um, there's a quiz after this one, but um, this is the last challenge challenge where we're asked to do some things with code that we have learned. So if you struggled with this challenge, like I did, <laughs> hopefully this video will help you out. And also, if you've been working through all of these challenges, really good job and congratulations for making it this far. Awesome. So let's see, what are we working on? We are making the cat walk. So the directions say, this web page contains a cat that's already animated, but that's only because it's an animated GIF. For this challenge, you'll make the cat move across the screen, too, in JavaScript. Change the walk the cat function so that it updates the cat's left position property, and then make sure it's called repeatedly using the window.requestAnimationFrame function. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at our code. We have, here we have our cat GIF, and then we have our script. Cool. And this, I'm just going to go through each line and let's talk about what they do. So this cat L variable is storing a, this cat um, element that has an ID of cat. Cool. That's pretty standard. We've been doing that this whole course. Now we have a start time variable with new date and dot get time. Okay, so I have not seen those before. I'm going to look at my notes here. Um, and because I have not seen these before, and this was kind of confusing for me, um, I actually looked up what these meant. So a new date is a standard JavaScript method. I'm looking at my notes here, um, that stores a specific time, a specific moment, and then returns that in milliseconds. All right, so let's see. Do, 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 do. So standard JS method that stores a specific moment in time and returns the that in milliseconds. Okay, um, and I guess these are two different methods. Um, and new date stores a specific moment, and then get time. Oops, re, re, uh, stores the time since that moment that has elapsed in milliseconds. Whew. Okay, great. So that uh, this variable start time is storing the specific moment that happens right before this function walk the cat is going to run. All right. So now that's important. That's an important thing to keep in mind because this line, this cur time looks like it's storing the exact same thing as the start time. However, it's not. It's storing um, the moment that each um, loop of this function begins that each loop of this function walk the cat begins. And I writing this out, um, I'm commenting on each of these lines because this one was by far the trickiest <laughs> um, challenge in this course. And it really helps me to be able to look back and see um, what each line actually means and to talk through it, honestly. All right, so we have our cur time, and this is all stuff that they've already written for us, and I'm just like situating myself within it by figuring out which line, which each line means. We haven't even added any code yet, but we will. Okay, so this next variable that they have in this walk the cat function is seconds elapsed, and that is storing the current time minus the start time divided by 1000. Okay, what does that mean? 
Uh, all right, so we have our current time, which is the moment that each of the loop that each loop in this function be um, begins, and minus the start time, which is the moment in time before the walk the cat function began. Okay, so it's the the number of seconds, or actually milliseconds, that have transpired between this current time and the time we started at. Cool. All right, and then why are we dividing it by 1,000? Well, we're dividing it by 1,000 because there are 1,000 milliseconds in one second, and we want seconds, not milliseconds. So that's what we're doing here. So um, subtracts the start time from the um, the start time of our function from the current time um, and then divides that number by 1000 to convert milliseconds to seconds. All right, cool. All right, now I think I, have, I kind of understand what, what they have already written. Now it's time for us to add some code. So let's look back at the directions and see what they say. So we're changing the walk the cat function so that it updates the cat's left position property and then um, making sure that it's called repeatedly using the window.requestAnimationFrame function. All right, so luckily we have this hint here. So I'm just gonna start with that variable new left. All right, so we are creating this new left variable and what are we storing inside of it? We want to store seconds elapsed. Oops. Um, the number of seconds that have passed so far since we began our, our um, function, wherever we are at in our sequence of looping through this function, um, the new position is seconds that have transpired since we began times the number of pixels that we want to move to the right. So it's saying this new position where the cat is going to be uh, is going to be 50 um, pixels. We're going to add 50 pixels and I just chose 50 so that it's a big enough number so we can see how far the cat has moved when it starts to move. Um, so we're going to multiply the seconds elapsed times 50. So basically every second we're going to add 50 pixels and move the, the cat to a new position, a new left position, uh, and that's that. That's how we're calculating that new position. All right. Uh, let me look at my notes. Sorry, I have to... <laughs> look back um, because this was tricky for me. Um, all right, and let's see, we have this hint here. Let's start with that. Why, why am I getting a no-nos? Oh, I've seen this before when I tried to work through this before. I need to um, make sure that all the code I'm adding is um, inside this walk the cat function. And I had the curly brace and the semicolon um, inside. I had all of the new code that I wrote was outside of the curly brace and the semicolon. So I need to move that. All right, cool. So we got rid of that oh no's notification. Okay, so we have our new left. Now let's add this cat L. All right, so do, 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 we're adding, we're set, we're saying, um, we're updating this left style. We're saying we no longer want um, this cat to be where it was. So the new style dot left property should um, equal our new left. And, oh, this is where we need to add pixels to the number that we generated in this line. 
because JavaScript, with just this, JavaScript has no idea what unit we are working with, so we need to tell it you're working with pixels. And that's how we do that. And then, um, in, why isn't it working? Does this walk the cat? Oh, <laughs> we need to use window.requestAnimationFrame to walk the cat. All right, so I think that will go outside of the function. Window.requestAnimationFrame walk the cat. Hmm. I feel like that should have done something. Let's try moving this line. I think last time I had it inside the function when I tried to do this uh, challenge before and it worked, but I don't know why that would work. Okay. All right, well, it did work. Yay, our cat is walking. Woo! I've never been so proud. <laughs> um, all right, I don't know why we need to have this window.requestAnimationFrame inside the walk the cat function because it's calling the walk the cat function. So if you do know the answer to that, let me know. It does work this way. I'm going to investigate some more about this as I learn for, further and continue on my coding journey. Um, but for now, before we finish, there's something um, that bothers me about this. I feel like I sound a lot like Pamela when I say that, but I recall her saying that I feel like this this walk the cat function is just being called repeatedly and the cat is leaving. The cat has left and there's no reason for this to be running still and I feel like it's probably a huge drain on our browser. So I'm going to do what she did in the last video, which is set um, parameters for this. Uh, so if new left is less than, let's say, 300 because I want to see it stop, um, then run this window.request uh, animation frame walk the cat. Let's see what it does. Um, mm -hmm. Woo! All right, so awesome. The cat walked and the cat stopped. Um, so once it got to 300 pixels. Awesome. Yay. Okay. So really, really congrats. Lots of congratulations. Really good job. If you made it to the end of this series, I'm super excited. The next series I'm going to work on is the jQuery series on Khan Academy. So stay tuned for more videos on that. And after that, I want to do the advanced JavaScript animations course, which I have started, but have not completed. So thank you so much for coming with me on this coding journey and good luck with all of your coding endeavors, and I'll see you in the next video.